Hi everyone, this is the last video I'm going to show you regarding the activity. We've been through every single function and activity that you can play with and use. Um, and now I'm going to show you uh, the final sort of pièce de résistance to, to do with the activity, and that's that it's switch adapted um, and can be used in lots of different ways with switches if uh, that suits your needs, suits your um, settings that you need to, 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 to use and be able to use different products and devices. So before we get started, and I'll show you the different methods of switch adapt adaptivity, um, we do have to put it into a, an activity within the within the device that um, uh, uses switches or can use switches, and that's any of the um, activities at all except for music scanning, because music scanning uses the LEDs that are across the different coloured buttons. Um, we can't use the LEDs as a scanning uh, mode, so music scanning unfortunately is unavailable for switch adapted um, techniques. So for this I'm going to put it into pre-recorded sounds. Pre-recorded sounds. So now we're in pre-recorded sounds. The first way I'm going to show you how to use uh, switches is single switch auto scanning. Okay then, so the first thing we need to do to set up a switch, or to set up a single switch, is to plug in a switch to um, switch number one, which is this one here. Um, it has the one above it and has the auto scan underneath it, so you'll know that that's the right one to do. It's as simple as plugging it in. Okay, so once you're set up in a single switch auto scanning mode, it does exactly what it describes. It automatically scans across the buttons once you set it in motion with dwell time between the uh, between the rotating between the buttons. Once you're ready to select a button, you simply press the switch again and it'll access that sound or access that function you require. So. It moves across the buttons like so. Press it again, and you get the sound you require. Once you've finished, or once the sound's finished, it begins to move auto scan again and move across the buttons, and you can simply just press another button to select the next one you'd like. Now, if you wish to tw change the dwell time at all, if you wish to change how quick or slow it moves between the buttons, it's as simple as hold down the level button for a quick couple of seconds and it flashes up to show it's on the fourth button along which is four seconds. Now once you're in that mode you just need to move across by pressing level to whichever amount of seconds that you require so one, two, three or four. So we'll set it to one and, it'll, and then I'll show you how quick that is for the dwell time between the auto scan. So you'll see it's moving much quicker now and we can select the desired one we'd like. And that's single switch auto scanning, it's as simple as that. So the next method of single switch scanning is dwell scanning and to do that you simply take it out of port 1 and move it into port 2. Now the difference between auto scanning and dwell scanning is you select your item by continually pressing the switch. So you would press it until it lands on the one that you would like to select. Now dwell scanning, in case you're unaware, once you're on that one it clicks it for you after a matter of time. So if I was to want to select the yellow icon to play that sound, I'd have to press it three times like so. With the dwell time being at 1, that was quite a quick response as soon as I landed on it. Again, just to show you how to change the dwell time once more, hold the level button down and then press it again until you need the selection that you require, so that's 4 seconds. And then we'll go through again and this time it should take 4 seconds before the sound comes on. And it's as simple as that for dwell scanning. Keep pressing the switch until you're on the one you would like to select and it dwells there for the amount of time that you've selected and then presses the button for you. And for the final mode of wired switch scanning, I'm going to show you two switch step scanning. 
Um, now, a combination of both, or um, it might be quite simple to work out what's this, what this one does. One switch will be connected to scan across, and the other switch will select the item you'd like to do. Okay, so relatively, relatively easy to explain. Um, the switch that's in switch 1 is the selection, and the switch that's in switch 2 is the scanner. So, scans along the buttons, doesn't do anything until you press the switch that selects it. And you get the desired output from that. It's the same in any level, you can still change the levels. So it's as before, it's quite simple to use, scan along and red switch to select.